In this video, I will show you how to fix the Roblox error code 403 on your computer or laptop. And if this video does help you out today, please consider leaving a like on the video and also consider dropping down below the video and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm here on my desktop. Now to actually fix the Roblox error code 403, there's a couple things that we're going to do. The first thing you're going to want to make sure is that you're not currently logged into Roblox and that if you do have the Roblox app downloaded, that you actually quit out of Roblox. To double check this, just come down to your taskbar, right click and then click onto task manager. And at the top underneath processes, you want to just scroll down and make sure that Roblox is not shown in the processes. Of course, if it's showing, what you want to do is just click onto Roblox and then click the end task option down here. So after this, the first method we're going to do actually requires you to have admin privileges. So if you don't have that, make sure you're logged in with someone that does have admin privileges. What you're then going to want to do is come down to the search bar down here and then you want to type run. Next, go ahead and open up the run app, which will appear under best match. So from here, what you want to do is type the following, which is the percent symbol followed by app data and then another percent symbol and then hit enter. What it's going to do is open up a window like this. Now, what you want to do from here is come up to here and click onto app data. And then what you want to do is click onto the local folder. Next, what you want to do is just scroll down until you get to the Roblox folder down here and then just go ahead and delete that folder entirely from your computer. Next, what you're going to want to do after this has been successfully completed is if you do use a VPN, you want to make sure this is actually disabled because by using a VPN, that can actually affect Roblox and you can get the error 403. So in order to do this, what you want to do again is come down to the search bar and you want to type in settings and then open up the settings app. And then from here, you want to go into network and internet, which is down here. Next, what you want to do is come to the menu on the left hand side and you'll see VPN on here on this menu. So you want to go ahead and give that a click. And if this, if you do have a VPN and it's currently set on, you want to turn your VPN off from here. So once you've done these two things, the next step is to actually reinstall Roblox. To do this, all you want to do is come across to roblox.com, open up a new browser and come across to roblox.com like so. And then once you go ahead and open any of these experiences, what it's going to do is ask you to install the Roblox player. So if I take this one, for example, Brookhaven, click the play button and you'll see what's going to happen is going to start reinstalling Roblox. The next thing you're going to want to do, and you can do this while you're waiting for Roblox to start downloading as well, is if you actually go into your firewall settings, you want to make sure this Roblox is being allowed through your firewall. So again, come down to the search box down here, go ahead and type firewall, and then click onto the firewall and network protection underneath best match. This is going to bring up these settings like so, and then from here, you'll see the option to allow an app through the firewall. So just go ahead and give that a click. It's going to load up another window like this. And then from here, what you want to do is click onto the change settings at the top. So again, you need to make sure you've got admin privileges to be able to change settings. And then what you want to do is just scroll down until you get to Roblox. And you can see this is ticked. Now you want to make sure that private and public, both of these boxes are ticked. Once that's done, just go ahead and click OK. Now, after you've done all these steps, what you want to do is load up Roblox and you should now be able to play Roblox successfully. If you're still encountering problems, what you're going to want to do is check the actual status of the Roblox servers. To do this, what you want to do is open up an internet browser. And what you want to then do is navigate to the following website, which is status.roblox.com. From here, this will tell you if anything is currently down on the Roblox servers. So as you can see down here, if we go to history, we've got something here where it says partial service disruption. So if you do see anything that's currently down at the moment, you can see this is all shown as operational, updated a few seconds ago. So we know the servers are all good to go. But there's a chance that if you've tried the steps and you're still experiencing problems, that there could be a problem with these servers. So of course, check on this website, see what you can find. And if you do find anything on here, again, just what you have to do is just keep checking the website and keep coming across and checking until this is shown as operational. So I hope this tutorial helped you out today and if it did I'd really appreciate it if you was to drop down below the video, leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. For that being said I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.